What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and install Cydia on iOS 6. Now keep in mind that this will only work for A4 devices, so the iPad 2, the iPad 3, and the iPhone 4S, this will not work for you. Every other device, you're good to go. So the first thing I will show you is that I am on iOS 6, so let's go into settings here, general, about... And then as you can see down there at the bottom, I am on 6.0. So the first thing you're going to want to do is first make sure that your device is plugged into your computer. And what we're going to do is put it into DFU mode. Now this is pretty simple. All you have to do is hold the home button and the power button together for 10 seconds each. And that's probably... 10 seconds about there and then what you do is release the power button and continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds and we are now in DFU mode and now we can go ahead and jump over to our computer now you are going to need Red Snow version 0.9.13 dev 4 and also your corresponding IPSW firmware I will leave the links down in the description for both of those. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Extras and go ahead and select IPSW. So specify an IPSW and just navigate through your computer to wherever you saved your firmware. And it will identify it. Click OK. And then we can go ahead and we can click Back and then Jailbreak. And right here you're going to want to make sure that you have Install SSH checked. Again, it will not install Cydia. You will do that later in this video. Go ahead and click Next. And I'm just going to go ahead and speed the video up here so you guys ain't waiting around forever. And you will be prompted to the jailbreak OK, and the rest will be on our device. Matrix mode, this is all normal jailbreak stuff. You guys should know the drill. Just let it do its thing. All right, and we're booting back up here. Now that the jailbreak process is pretty much done, what we're going to have to do is, again, we're going to have to put our device back into DFU mode. This is a tethered jailbreak. Now you will have to boot tethered, so we can go ahead and go back into DFU mode and simply hold the home and the power button together for 10 seconds each. And then release the power button and continue holding the home button for another additional 10 seconds. And we are now in DFU mode. And once again, we're going to jump back over onto the computer here. Now going right where you left red snow, go back. And then you're going to want to click on just boot to boot up your device tethered. But it is a tethered jailbreak. Keep that in mind. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this whole process of booting up for you guys again. And on your device, you will see the Pwn Apple boot logo. That's how you know that you are booting up tethered. And once you are booted up, that is it for the jailbreak portion. Next, we're going to install Cydia. The first thing you're going to need is your IP address. So go to Wi-Fi within settings. Select your Wi-Fi. I can click the blue arrow. And then right there, IP address. Go ahead and write that down on a piece of paper or whatever or get it memorized, you're going to need that number to SSH into your device. And once again on your computer, Mac users, you'll be using Terminal. Windows, you will have a different program. I'll leave the link down in the description for that. And go ahead and type in SSH root at, and then you're going to put in your IP address, which I had you either memorize or write down earlier. So go ahead and type that out, and then just click Enter. It will take it a second here after you click enter. And as you can see, now I am connected to my device. Now this next part, you're going to basically input a command and click enter. I will leave this command down in the description. So copy that whole command and then just paste it in and click enter. And it'll do a whole process here and it'll basically install Cydia onto your device. And just be patient with this. As you can see, it actually says at the bottom, permission denied. Don't worry about that. 
it's still working and it will work. Just kind of have some patience here and wait it out for a minute. And it should be just about ready to go. And there you go. And that is it for the computer. As you can see, you're back to your iPhone or iPod. You're back to the root. Now you are done on the computer. And after you've inputted the command and SSHing, it should have caused your device to respring itself. And as you can see right there, there is Cydia. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and let it prepare file systems. And I'll actually jump ahead here because this does take quite a while and show you that Cydia is up and running. And there you go. As you can see, Cydia is up and running, updating packages right now. And that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, keep in mind, it again, it is a tethered jailbreak. So if your device powers off, you will have to use your computer to boot it back up again. And again, all of the tools and everything you will need is all listed down in the description. So be sure to check there. If you guys found this tutorial useful, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Also, if you have any questions, comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This is Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.